Hello YouTube, it's been about a month since I've made a video. Um, basic update on the pump snap. It's basically just normal. If you hear someone screaming in the background, that's my brother who's being really rude. Um, basically it's just had half, about half an inch of shortened draw and I've built a hopper for it. Basically, I built my own um, Y out of a coupler and a T, and then I put a little metal rod through it to guide the dirt, and then a piece of clear pipe that is not quite as thick as half inch PVC that I use as the clip, then a barrel of a long piece of CPVC. So. The next thing I have to show you is a homemade version of basically the ERTL pump action shotgun, but it is pull back instead of pump action. If I wanted to, I could make it pump action, but in my opinion, there's no reason to. So, there we go. I had a little bit of trouble catching. Um, I'm not exactly sure. No, I do not. But let me see here. It shouldn't be that long. The draw is not. It's about four inches of draw. But yeah, basically, this is a one inch plug sanded down with a hole drilled through it and screwed into place. And this has it looks exactly the same as the one on the pump snap. But the other one was bought, and this one is made from a half inch coupler and a piece of one inch pipe. Sand it out a little bit and then have it jam in the coupler in. That is glued and screwed in with hot glue and half inch sheet metal screws. Then we have this wood body cut out of wood that appears to be three quarters inch thick. And yeah, I don't know much other than that. Basically, I got it out of a pile over there, and I don't really know what it is, but, yeah. So, yes. That is the, oh yeah, and then I built bow arms for it, which you can just stick on, which this is a half inch um, plus, and so you just stick the string through. So, oh, it's primed. I gotta unprime it here. And so then you take the string and you bring it over to the other arm and you attach it like so. And then you've got bow arms on it. a lot of tension and fires pretty hard so I'll do a quick shooting test of that now <laughs> load up the hopper clip here with some one and a half inch darts with felt tips and one and a quarter inch slingshot weights and one quarter inch not one and a quarter stick this on it and again this target I'm gonna be shooting at is really close point blank like two feet away so did the hopper not feed must be pull that back very well. So I'll do it without the bow arms. 
that's really hard for me to pull back. But I usually can prime it. But the bone should come off nice and easy. And then you're ready to go. And you can use it like this. There we go. So that's about how hard it shoots. That went way off target and I lost that dart. I'll fire one more over here. That way I don't lose it. And as you can see, the dart almost got out of the barrel there. I'm not sure why it didn't. But I will. Okay, so now for the pump snap. I'll just fire that for you. Just in case you haven't seen it fire yet, or if you want to see it fire with the shorter draw and the hopper. I will do as many shots as I can with this rapid fire, which for me, it's somewhat hard to pull back, so it's not really fast, but it's not bad. Oh, that's right. That was already primed there. This dart are having a ton of trouble in this barrel. Oh, that one shot like this. Alright, and that is empty. So. Yes, now you've seen them both fire. Um, that's about it. Just show you the darts I was firing quickly. Made a few today. So, 